Hello students, let's get started with our next assignment. Assignment S5, Descriptive Statistics. I want you all uh, to go to this assignment uh, and download this data file, Excel file that I have posted over here. It says this uh, disk statistics class data. Once you download, uh, yeah, please open it. Uh, it might open it over here that says, yeah, the sheet that says explainers. Let's go uh, to the class data over here. Uh, yeah, that explainer is an extra data. So yeah, this is the type of file you will be opening uh, or yeah, this will be the view. So if I quickly read through, browse through, looks like uh, yeah, class data, points possible. And uh, yeah, with, with an ID, there are 20 different students, quiz one, quiz two, uh, group project, midterm, final. So looks like, yeah, these are the scores of all these 20 students. Uh, yeah, and there was, uh, recorded for the entire semester and uh, we have to do the summary over here yeah so yeah, this is the main table and within that uh, there is quiz total group total midterm final and that is total count mean median min max p25 uh, p75 uh, sd that is standard deviation variance and then yeah categorization categorized data so between this and this what was the range what was the count and so on or what is the cumulative number and uh, assignment group yeah so for each student i think uh, yeah i think we have to come up with the weighted average so yeah yeah so this is how we study the entire sheet and now we have a good understanding of what the data is so let me go ahead and make this a bit bigger and start our calculations so the very first is quiz total i'm going to start with equals to sum then uh, start and i'm going to select all these four cells starting from b12 to e12 i'm going to close it enter yeah, that's 24, 5 plus 5, 14, uh, 5 plus 5 plus 4 plus 10, 14 plus 10, 24, correct. Yeah, I'm just going to drive the formula all the way down and I got the totals. Next, I want to uh, calculate the quiz percentage. So for that, I just have to divide this with this, the total maximum possible points. So let's do that equals to this divided by this value. It's sixty percent for you. It might not be, but the person sign might not be there. It might be just be a fraction, point uh, six something. So for that reason, uh, yeah, just go to this home tab, and within the home tabs, there is a sub tab called as number. I want you to click this percentage. It will make it percentage. If there is a decimal you are seeing, just click this. It will take away the decimal. Or uh, yeah, let, let's just play around. Yeah, if you press this tab, it will add one decimal at a time. If I add multiple times, more decimals will be added, and this is how I will be. Removing one decimal at a time. Perfect. Yeah, this looks good. Now, uh, yeah, this is the first formula that we used, uh, which is F, yeah, division, simple division, F12 over F9. Uh, the pro I mean, uh, I can't drag this formula all the way down. I mean, there is a problem. Let me show you what the problem is. So if I uh, drag it by one, you see, uh, I'm getting an error. And the reason is that it is dividing uh, this number 23 with yeah this cell over here because it's dragging the cell down so in this case we definitely have to lock the cells uh, using the uh, absolute fun command that is adding the dollars uh, for the denominator so i'm going to say control z control z it takes away the second cell now here i'm going to just lock it up whether i will use uh, f4 or yeah you can add dollars so dollar dollar enter still for the first is going to be the same now i'm going to drag the formula all the way down so yeah this is what i'm getting so i mean just double check if it is uh, getting the right cells so it, uh, here it is dividing 29 divided by f9 correct so uh, this looks correct here f25 which is 34 divided by f9 which is here this looks correct to me moving forward uh, let's get the group percentage so this is uh, for the group project this is the uh, points uh, each of the students have received so I just have to divide this divided by this equals to this divided by this value. Similar to what we did uh, over here for the quiz, I'm going to add those uh, absolute reference. That is the dollar sign. Enter. Yeah, it's 92%. I'm just going to drag the formula down. Let's double check. It is dividing 24 upon 25, correct? For this case, it's dividing 25 upon 25, so 100% correct. So yeah, this looks right. Uh, next is exactly the same thing, division. Uh, let me get the midterm percentage. I'm going to start equals to this uh, cell J12 divided by J9 
which is 50 maximum points possible. And here also I'm going to add those absolute reference dollar, dollar, enter, then pulling it, tagging it down. Just a double check. So here 35 divided by 50 is 70% correct. Here 30 divided by 50 is 60% correct. Now let's as we will get, get let's get the final percentage equals to this value divided by this value dollar absolute reference dollar enter we to drag the formula down 32.769 yeah 96 percentage 61 so again uh, l19 l9 correct everything looks right to me awesome so the first task is completed uh, just my thing, uh, I like to make any data that I process to be uh, like much more presentable. So I'm going to add uh, borders. And one more thing I'm going to do is just for the data, well, let me do it for across. I'm going to center this. So I'm going to go home. I'm going to click on this uh, middle align. I'm going to click this. It says center. So it will yeah, align all these numbers in the center, Well, which looks much more uh, presentable, right? Uh, then I am going to, uh, this is a percentage. So this is something that we calculated. So I'm just going to highlight it. Let's say yellow. I'm going to use yellow. For you, you can use any color. But yeah, I'm just trying to make some points. So the key points uh, is are being highlighted that we calculated. So yeah, we calculated quiz, percentage, group percentage, midterm, and final. The next thing is like we have been doing for the last few assignments. I'm going to select all these cells from G12 until G31. Uh, I'm going to name this as quiz PCT. Q U I Z underscore PCT. That is quiz percentage. Then I'm going to click enter. Similarly, I'm going to do group P. So, yeah, group P under course uh, PCT. G R O U P P underscore PCT. Enter. Here, uh, midterm underscore percentage. So, I'm going to select all of these to go over here. M I D T E R M underscore E C T. And then I'm going to go to the this part that is final underscore P C T. F I N A L underscore P C T. Enter. So this completes the first part. Now, what we are going to do is fill this summary table for quiz, group project, midterm, and final. Just make this bigger so uh, you guys can see it clearly. And the characteristics we are supposed to fill uh, are and that is a count mean, median, min, max, 25th percentile, 75th percentile, standard deviation and variance. So let's start with the count e equals to C O U N T for quiz underscore P C T selecting it. Same thing for group project. So e equals to C O U N T. G R O U P project then midterm so equals to count for M I T midterm underscore P C T Oops. equals to C O U N T M I D midterm underscore P C T then for final equals to C O U N T count F I N final underscore P C T. So the first row is completed. Then mean. Mean is nothing but average. So we are going to use the average function equals to A V E R A G E for quiz underscore P C T. And since you know this is repetitive, I'm going to fill the first column for a quiz and then I'll show you a trick. Then the next part is median equals to MED I I A N for Q U I Z underscores P C T. And median is nothing but if you arrange all those scores in a ascending or descending order, the number that falls in the center of uh, that order is your median. If it is a uh, uh, or, yeah, or uh, yeah, if the count is odd. If it is even, it will average the uh, center two numbers. So that's your median. Then min equals to min for QIZ underscore PCT. Then max MAX 
space underscore PCT then comes here 25th percentile. So similar to median, uh, 25th percentile is if you uh, arrange all the numbers, all the scores, test scores, percentage with ascending or descending order. Uh, yeah, like in this case for, for 25th percentile is uh, in ascending order. So the number that lies at the 25th uh, number, so uh, range is uh, yeah, year 25th percentile. So 25% of the number count will be below that range and uh, 75 will be above. So that's your 25th percentile. So here is uh, the, the right format equals to PER percentile. And we are going to use uh, .exe. So this percentile was uh, for Windows 27, uh, yeah, 2007. Uh, they have modified it and this is uh, percentile.inc. For you, uh, you are going to use this exclusive. So let's select that. QUIZ underscore PCT. Close it out. Oops, yeah, there is one part that was missing. So if I say, after I select that, I'm going to do this or maybe let me just restart to avoid confusion. Equals to PERC percentile dot EXE QUIZ underscore PCT comma. Uh, I have to enter for 25th or uh, 25 percentile. Uh, I'm supposed to add 0.25. Close the bracket. Yeah, this is my 25th uh, percentile. I just copy the exact same thing for 75th and change that last number from 0.25 to 0.75 and press enter. So this is my 75th percentile. Then standard deviation. So STDEV, oops, e equals to STDEV. And for you, you are going to use the sample part. For QUIZ is underscore PCT and uh, for variance equals to VAR, you are going to use uh, VAR dot S that is for samples. Although it's a population, uh, you are going to use sample. So QUIZ underscore PCT and one way to verify, uh, so you know right as per statistical theory, uh, if you square the standard deviation, you get your variance. So I'm going to square equals to this number square is to two enter well let me fix the decimal points oops other way yeah so this is exactly uh, what variance is so i know a standard deviation that i calculated is correct or using the formula is correct so the very first uh, column is completed for quiz i'm going to uh, copy all of these control c control v and uh, I know all of here, like uh, the data set that I've selected is quiz underscore PCT. And I should be selecting group uh, P underscore PCT. Yes. Yeah? So for the first one, I'm going to change this back, 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 back. ER group underscore PCT. Enter. Yeah. So this is like the right way to do it. Uh, other thing I can do is I'm just going to select all this and I'm going to say control F that is find. I'm going to go find and replace and find what so find quiz underscore pcd and replace it with what uh, group p underscore pct and then i'm going to say replace all it is telling uh, all done we made seven replacement let me go there and check whether yeah for min correct for percentile 25 looks correct looks correct variance as yeah looks correct then i'm going to copy the uh, like all of these again control c and control v here uh, same thing uh, what i'm going to do is so this is group p underscore pcd i'm supposed to replace it with uh, this value midterm underscore pcd and you can also like if you want you can go to the, uh, the very first column where we actually ran the right formula with the right text you can copy this control c escape select all these say control f on your keyboard go to replace uh, group p underscore yeah. p. okay Control X, Control V, and there is a space. I'll take the space away. No space, no space. I'm going to say replace all. It says all done. We made eight replacements. I'm going to say close. 
looks correct looks correct correct i'm going to say uh, exactly the same control c control v over here and this is midterm underscore pcd i'm supposed to final pcd well i can either remember or i can do the state copy and paste control c say this looks correct select all of these control f replace go here and it all so midterm underscore pct uh, leave some faces control v control x delete those extra spaces go to find what no spaces no spaces then i'm going to say replace all all done we made eight replacements close looks correct final pct looks correct so uh yeah this even this summary table is uh completed it's full just to make it presentable i'm going to add borders i'm going to keep this uh, standard deviation in decimals i can next we are going to build the box and wix correct plot for the midterm and final percentage so going over here making this a bit solid this is good so i'm going to select all the final percentages over here then i'm going to go to insert tab and within insert i'm going to make this bigger uh, within this charts make it bigger well, i don't see option uh, in recommended charts so i'm going to go all charts yeah and the fourth from the bottom is your box and whisker plot yeah this looks right so i'm going to click okay so here is a uh, excel generated box and whisker plot here chart uh, title i'm going to name it as box plot for or i'm just going to say chart chart for final percentage and mid T E R M. Take a final. We will add those percentages as a unit. So chart for final and midterm. Over here, and I'm going to add data labels. Let's compare the numbers, and I will explain what these are. Uh, well, on a higher level, if you have taken our uh, business stats one. That is management to 2340 class. Uh, yeah, we, we teach uh, this box and uh, whisker and a summary uh, table. But again, uh, <laughs> this is a typical shape of uh, the, the box and whisker plot. So this X is your uh, mean that is average. So for final, this is 76%. Yeah, so this is 75.9, which is 76%. And uh, this line you are seeing within the box in the center, like it's not exa exactly the center, but in the middle. So that's 70% uh, is your medium. Uh, this number 68 percent is your 25th percentile so that is the bottom part of the box so that's your 25th percentile 68 percent so if i go uh 25, yeah this is 68 percent and the top number is your uh 75th percentile for the final so that's 86 percent is 86 percent and usually uh the top ends uh usually yeah uh yeah the, the top bar is your top limit and bottom bar is your bottom limit and or uh, like if there is an outlier so the, that outlier the lower most outlier will be your minimum number so in this case the minimum here is 37 percent so that's why you are seeing 37 percent and the maximum is 100 so yeah, the other max 100 so this is how you will read a typical uh box and whisker plot and it's a very useful tool here yeah? so here uh, to draw this box and whisker you didn't even have to uh, go through the summary table you just selected the main data it gave you so quick snapshot it will take, tell you how the data spread is and again uh, maybe when in the original data this uh, so small number wasn't there i just kept it so that uh, you know the later analysis we are going to do this uh, categorical uh, analysis you have at least one uh, point here count so that's why i put this one number maybe in the real uh, st uh, test there wasn't a student who had that low but yeah uh, coming back so this is a like, typical shape of a boss then whisker plot and i say how you draw using excel yeah like few clicks select the data go to insert chart select it and you'll get the information so very very powerful tool so we did it for the final
let's go ahead and add the data for midterm. So again, we started here, selected this, got it. So now I'm going in the somewhere in the middle of this chart, right clicking over here. And a window like this will pop up on the bottom. I'm going to go to select data. So currently, this is the series one that window auto, uh, yeah, sorry, uh, Excel automatically to. So let me go ahead and edit. I'm selecting this. Let me go ahead and edit it. I'm going to just going to add a name to it. So currently, this is my data I'm going to want to change. So series name, I'm just going to select final percentage. I'm going to say OK. OK. Yeah, now the name is uh, final percentage. I'll tell you the advantage of this later. So now I'm going to add another series. Should you ask me a series name? I'm going to say midterm percentage. That's a name. It is asking for series value. That is the range. So I'm going to select from here until here, all the data 20 points. Uh, I'm going to click on here. I'm going to click OK. And you see a, a, another box and whisker plot appeared. I'm going to say OK. OK. So this is the second uh, box and whisker plot that appeared. And that's for my midterm. So again, I'm going to right click on here. I'm going to say add data labels. Yeah, it added data labels. Well, there are too many. Uh, I know exactly what happened. I, yeah, within the selection. Yeah, it's going to do it. Uh, no worries because it's the, uh, yeah, the granular level that has been selected. There's a reason why. But again, coming back, this is for your midterm. So again, uh, the center you are seeing that X is your 75%. So that's your 75.1%. 76 is your median. Uh, 25th percentile is your 68%. So that's your P25, 25th percent. 75th percentile is your 80%. So that's your uh, 80%. And my minimum value is 56. 56. And my max value is 96%. So that's my max value. So uh, yeah. Uh, you drew two blo uh, box and whisker plots uh, within the same chart. Now let's go and yeah, make it much more presentable. So I'm going to select this or yeah, anywhere. And I'm going to go uh, within chart design and I'm going to add chart elements. So the very first is exit title. So if I do this, well, it's already there. I'm going to do a sideway and I'm going to say here, uh, just say, uh, well, I don't need this. I'm going to select this part, the text and say score and I don't need to add percent because the unit is already there. Uh, I'm going to add one more chart title, say a data label chart title centered overlay agent left bottom. Yeah, let's do it over here. Yeah, I just added that and by, yeah, by default it yeah, picked the right name, uh, final and midterm, which we had selected. So yeah, technically this is how you drew here box and uh, whisker plot using the entire data and you matched it using this summary table. So yeah, you verified they are correct. Uh, in a real analysis, if you're drawing the box and whisker, you don't have to do this analysis and vice versa, start filling this table over here. For that reason, I'm going to move this chart all the way to my right. I'll center this table. Let me make it a bit bigger. And they should be fine. So here, this table is asking on the left hand side, uh, this column, we are seeing a range, count, percentage and cumulative percentage. This is this is what we are supposed to uh, calculate or use Excel formulas to uh, fill this uh, summarized table. On the range side, uh, they want us to count the number of students who had less than 40%. Then 40 to 49%, 50 to 59, 60 to 69, 70 to 79, 80 to 89, and 90 to 100. And uh, on that note, I'm just going to add a few things over here. So I'm going to say 0%, then this will be 40, uh, let me say 39%, or yeah, let's use the whole number, 40%. Here I'm going to say 40% and 50%. Then 50%, 60%, 60%, 70%. 70%. Finally, my 100% over here. 
Just copy these two. Sorry. Control C, Control V. So that makes it yeah zero. Yeah, so everything looks correct. Uh, here I'm going to use count if statements that we have uh, learned in the past few assignment as well. So let's get started. For the first one, I'm going to use this equals to C O U N T I F. Just one condition that is less than forty percent. And the table range is again final. So final percentage, final underscore PCT. So that's the range I selected. Then it is asking me the criteria. So my criteria here is, uh, you see what I'm doing. So I'm starting with the quote. And I'm going to say less than 40. And close the bracket. Oops, sorry. Yeah. Close the quote. And bracket enter oops i know what happened so as per excel these numbers are uh, 0 0.96 0 0.77 0 0.83 we just have added uh, change the unit to percentage so when i'm asking here to find a number less than 40 so for excel all these are like 0 0.96 0 0.77 0 0.83 all are less than 40 so it is telling me it's 100 percent so yeah, just, just for your information, that is, uh, yeah, that is a real in Excel. So I'm going to say percent. So you see what I did. Count if start bracket final underscore PCD comma starting quotation uh, less than 40 percent close quote close the bracket and say enter one. Uh, let me verify. So for that reason, I'm going to go to home. Oops, I want to go to data over here. It's hiding behind this bar. So I'm going to go to data for you. Uh, select row 11 add a filter over here and uh, yeah this is one way let's use a standard format i'm going to say less than 40 percent or you can say less than 0 0.4 and i'm going to say okay it's telling yeah there is one so our, yeah this count is correct which is one and again this is distorted don't worry we are just looking at this so there is one only one that's the main thing i'm going to clear all the filters i'm uh, getting everything back next one is i'm going to use count ifs so on one side i'm going to say uh, greater than or equal to 40 and here i'm going to say less than 50 here i'm going to say greater than or equal to 50 less than 60 greater than or equal to 60 less than 70 and uh, follow on uh, at the 100 percent we are going to do a little different so let's get started with the top one so equals to c o u n t i f s what is the criteria range it is asking me it's uh by final underscore pct that's the range i'm uh, looking for then it is asking me what is the criteria number one so again here see i'm going to start with the quote i'm going to say a greater than 40 or uh yeah greater than equal to 40 40 percent Go close and you see uh, here is the trickiest part i want you to pay attention i'm going to use this ampersand and this is a standard way to use count if statement so use this ampersand immediately after you close the quote ampersand is nothing but it's an and symbol and then i'm going to say uh, immediately after ampersand no space i'm going to select this 40 which is cell o26 then i'm going to say comma so the first criteria is completed then I'm going to, uh, it is asking me what is the second criteria I mean, It's going to be the same final underscore PCT. Comma, now it is asking me what is the criteria number two. Again, I'm going to start with quote and I'm going to say less than or close ampersand or the and symbol and, and this cell P26, which is a 50. Then I'm going to close the bracket. I'm going to say enter. Oops, something went wrong. 40 to 50. I know. Here I'm supposed to put 50%. That is correct. Less than percent P26. Oops, oops. So count if final PCT comma greater than equal to. Oops, that's the problem. 
I should be putting here. Yeah. So here I put correctly. So I should be removing this. So within the quote only greater than equal to uh, quote close and ampersand. Same uh, second criteria. I'm going to click OK, enter one. It also is uh, giving me one. So let me check. I still have the filters on. I'm going to go here and see number filters. See greater than equal to or greater than or equal to. So the first one is uh, greater than equal to. The criteria is 40% or 0 0.4. And I'm going to say less than here. I'm going to say 0, 0 0.5. Okay. Yeah. Oops, 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 oops. Well, there is only one. So that's correct. Well, uh, this is all mixed up. So do not worry. This is the correct one we are seeing. Uh, within the range, there is only one number. That's what I'm supposed to see. So that's correct. So that's what my number over here is correct. So on that note, I'm just going to drag the formula and going to double check some numbers. Well, for now, I just delete this. We'll drag the formula. This looks correct. What? This looks correct. This looks correct. This looks correct. Looks correct. More or less looks correct. Just for verification, I'm going to go over here and um, uh, in the home tab, I'm going to say auto sum. Please ask me, are the, is this range correct? I'm going to say enter yes, 18. And we know that number of students are 20, right? So yeah, yeah selecting all these, it's 20. I'm getting 18 already. And the reason is uh, within the 100, I'm going to say, uh, so here uh, the formula says less than this number 100, that is P31. The only thing I have to do is uh, less than or equal to. Yeah, so only the last part I'm going to change. I'm going to say less than or equal to. I'm going to say press enter. And this number changes from 1 to 3. So because there are 200 percent, so one over here and one over here. So those two get got added. And now the total is 20. So that, yeah, kind of validates that the numbers that I have uh, over here are correct. Then a percentage. So again, this is simple uh, division equals to this divided by this number. And I'm going to say function f4 because I'm using Windows. I have those absolute uh, signs over here. That is dollar dollar. I'm going to drag all the way down. These are the numbers I'm getting. And here also I'm just going to do an auto sum just to make sure uh, it adds it to 100%. It's asking me are these correct? So I'm going to say yes. Enter. 100%. Next one is your cumulative um, numbers, which is nothing but a run down from top to bottom. Uh, you add, keep adding until everything you reach the last point, and this should be 100. So for my first equals to this number, for my second equals to this number plus this number. Then I just drag this down. My last number is 100%. That validates uh, these calculations are correct. So this completes uh, this part as well. Now we are going to go ahead and add a chart. So I'm going to select uh, these two columns from Q25 until R31. Then I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to add our chart. Oops. Let's select this one, uh, the clustered column. And here you can see uh, Excel auto generated is uh, X and Y axis, and there is chart title. I'm going to say break down of students. Scores, break down students scores. And uh, I'm just going to add data labels. These are my so, I'm going to go format data series and this gap width, uh, I'm going to make it say 30 percent. I'll just like the it to be like more beefy. Going over here, also going to go ahead and yeah, within the chart design, let's add chart element. So, very first is access title, left is count of student, count of students. So that's done. I'm going to make this bolder. So select it and say control B. Uh, add another chart element. And uh, let's go bar, 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 bar. Yeah, let's say legend. And I'm going to say at the bottom. 
it's the auto picking well yeah let me use a, a different way of doing it so access primary access title primary chart title centered about richard i mean that looks correct data label uh, looks correct data table looks correct error bar grid line legend yeah let's go on the bot table is the same thing access primary Good access title primary yeah, let's go over here yeah let, let's add one more over here see categories uh, score categories each of them is a score category so this looks good to me uh, with that said uh, this part is also uh, completed so we summarize this uh, based on the categories using counters then data division for the percentage and then uh, did a cumulative which is some uh, operation to take it here and then the final part of this assignment is uh, let's do a weighted average method so for example for student one uh, total quiz he received 24 so 24 i'll just do this 24 or you can also do this equals to this enter then for the group project he got 23 and for the midterms he got equals to 38 enter and then for the final project he got 72 and percentage so this is out of the total so i'm going to say equals to this divided by total so for the quizzes the total is 40 i'm going to say enter same thing uh, for the group project it is this divided by 25 is 92 and for the midterm this is this divided by 50 and for the final it is this divided by 75 that is uh, this cell 96 and then i'm going to say um, average of this equals to a v e r g e of 1 2 3 4 enter it's 81 percent can still go uh, with one decimal oops here is 81 percent then uh, let's do a weighted average uh, for that uh, I, uh, yeah over here i will be multiplying this equals to 60 percent multiplied by 10 percent uh, six percent then i'm going to drag the formula down and then i'm going to sum them up equals to sum of these four enter so 85.6 percent so if i do a straight average it is equally weighing all of these uh, categories that is quiz group project midterm final equally so yeah 25 percent each versus this is my weightage uh, yeah so here there is less weightage for quizzes so even though he has only 60 percent in quizzes and my weightage is 10 percent uh, the score over here the final score over here is high because uh, my finals have like four times more weightage than quiz so yeah that's that's one of the reasons so yeah this is the like benefit you know difference between a uh, standard average and weighted average this completes this part as well and in fact uh, this completes the entire assignment uh, please go ahead and submit this file and also in the quiz there are some questions asked uh, make sure uh, you answer them correctly to get the points thank you so much guys uh, thanks for all your efforts